In this video, I'm going to show you four tips that are guaranteed to forex your scene building proficiency. It's been said that for every minute spent organizing, an hour is earned. Stick with me to the end of this video to see how with proper systems in place, you can save a ton of time and tedious clicks. First, we all know layers are a critical organizational tool for modeling, but why do you need layers in Lumion? It definitely helps to control the visibility of entourage objects in stills versus animations. Let me show you how. Click on the plus sign at the top of the screen to add a layer. It's handy to have layers for imported models, foreground and background vegetation, and 2D and 3D entourage. This way you can dial up vegetation detail only on close-up shots to keep pixels flowing smoothly. Click on a layer to change the name. Select all entities on the layer or move all entities to another layer. Also, you can now delete a layer by double-clicking this button. Save the Lumion scene so you can reuse it as a template when starting new projects. You can see where I'm going with this. Efficient systems eliminate redundant clicks. Lumion does make finding the right object easy with organized collections and search functionality baked right into the library. But if you've already gone through the effort of picking vegetation for your region, why do it twice? Watch this. I'm going to grab a few landscape elements from this project I just finished and bundle them up into a group. Click here to save the group, give it a name and place it in a folder. On the next project, just click on the groups category within the content library. Then click place and choose the group. Once the group is in your scene, click here to ungroup, then start scattering the objects. This works great for vegetation and entourage. Give this one a try, you won't regret it. Every rendering I've ever worked on has glass, grass, concrete, asphalt and road striping. You can't change it, it's just the way it is. So accept it and automate it with these two tips for handling common materials. Once you assign Lumion material properties, you can save each individual material out by clicking the menu button, then save material to disk. Store on a shared drive so you can access them on another computer and your entire team can use your standard materials. Your colleagues are gonna love you for this. Select another surface, click the menu button, then load material from disk to apply your save material properties to another material, even another project. Not bad. But let's take it a step further. If your team shares a material library in your modeling program, you can link those material names to Lumia materials and save them all as a material set. This way you can keep consistent names for the materials in your 3D modeling software. Live sync to Lumion, load the material set, and just like that, all of your materials come to life with impressive Lumion PBR properties. So let me ask you this, what materials always show up in your projects? Why not dial them in once and never think about it again? Not unlike materials, several effects are used over and over again in all of my Lumion scenes. For me, it's real skies, shadows, two-point perspective, reflections, color correction, depth of field, and precipitation. That's the foundation. Then I build up from there, adding other stylistic effects when needed. So why apply these effects manually every time? Click here to save the effect stack to a network drive and share it with your entire team. Just click here to load an effect stack. Since we now have a template with known layers, we can also add layer visibility effect to hide 3D entourage in stills and hide 2D entourage in animations. You can even build effect stacks in night and day scenes and sunny or snowy weather. There is no right or wrong solution. It just depends on what's right for your office. So could you see the big picture? how all these systems start working together to forex efficiency. I can now start a new project from a template with known layers already baked in. Paint surfaces using textures that are linked to my material set. Click the Live Sync button in my modeling program, then load a material set, bring all those common materials to life with just a few clicks. Import a group with all the landscape regional elements already sorted. All I have to do is scatter them around in a convincing way. Then load effect stacks with my visual style already dialed in. Throw in a few stylistic effects on top and hit render. Life is hard, but work is easy. Or it can be. It just takes a tiny bit of time to set up these systems and a dash of discipline to use and maintain them. If you learned something today, please give this video a like and subscribe to the Lumion channel to get all of our latest tips, tricks and tutorials. 
Now before YouTube takes you down a rabbit hole, you might take a look at our latest upload. I know you're going to love it. I'll see you next time.